At the first part of this week, I want to speak with you for a few minutes on opinion. I was watching CNN this morning, and they had the talking heads on there, and they were all giving their various opinions of things going on. But the most important opinion is not over a temporal thing. It is over, you know what I'm going to say? It's over your opinion of you. What is your true opinion of you? Well, if we're honest, most people have a very poor opinion of themselves. Sure, because they're carrying around the baggage of who they used to be, and they know what's in the baggage. But that is not God's will for you. God's will for you is to raise up higher. God's will is not to hold you down, and therefore, if you're following God, you do not hold yourself down to the past either. Every day you follow God, every day you try to become a better person. Well, it has to start with your opinion of yourself. How do you view yourself? You know, one of our top-selling prayer CDs is the prayer for self-worth. And this is one of the number one needs of people that, uh, that I see on a daily basis. They need to rise in their opinion of who they think they are, who they think they can become, who they think they can be in life. Everyone wants to make a difference when they're a child. They want to, to make the world a better place, or at least I pray that's the way it is. Well, the only thing that stops us in doing that is ourselves. Now, now we have lots of excuses. Well, this happened to me, and this happened, and this happened. You're not what has happened to you. You're, a, you're a, an opinion of, uh, that you hold inside of yourself of what has happened to you. And I want you to think about that, that you are in your conscious thinking, a series, a train of opinions that you've held about you. And it is time to change those. Will you do it? Are you willing to change your opinion of yourself? Now, I ask you, what is your opinion of yourself? Would you say that it's pretty good, or would you say it's not so good? It is important for you to know that your opinion of yourself will also have a bearing on how other people think about you. Matter of fact, it has more than a bearing. I have watched it over the years. We tend to project what we secretly think we are. And Adeline Keene once said this, power is the privilege of the kings. Be a king over yourself. Opinion is power. And rather than judging other people, which Jesus talks directly against, judge yourself. But no, not in the old ways. Not where you're critical about every little itty-bitty detail. Here's what I'm asking you to do this week, and this is a powerful spiritual exercise, and if you'll follow this, really, it can change not only your week, but uh, your life, as long as you practice it. Try looking past what you seem to be to you, and acknowledge your finer qualities. That's it. Just acknowledge your finer qualities. Qualities. Some people have actually written them down and focused on them constantly. What this does is it raises your opinion of yourself. Also, as you raise your opinion of yourself, you allow God to come through you more. You're not like a clam closed down living in your own misery. And misery is a poor opinion of ourselves. So as you open up, you're going to be inspired. As you open up, you will 
get a new hope inside of yourself to do the big things. As you open up also, you will enable others to think more highly of you because you're going to be projecting a new you. Emerson once said, what you are speaks so loudly, I can't hear your words. God bless you, and God bless your opinion of you.